using third hands can be rather inconvenient sometimes. First, these clips are very tight and they're hard to maneuver. And then they have the serrated edges. The first mod that I make is I grind the edges off so they're flat. I, I have several of these. Makes it much easier to use. The second thing is that stand that came with this with the looking glass just inconvenient. So I took it off the stand, put it on a dowel with some tape. Now it's heavy. I can move it where I want. It doesn't get in the way. I use magnifiers on a head headband anyway with, with an LED light so I can see well. And then it stores flat. I can lay it right in a drawer. With, with the other thing that's up in the air, takes a lot of space. Now, the other thing I do is I use clothespins. Clothespins are extremely helpful to me. I put the clothespin in. Now, I have different clothespins. I have some with a blunt edge on them. I have others unmodified, but with a small hole in it that I can put a piece of brass wire or whatever. And another one, this is the general clamp. I've just reversed the spring and I have a nice clamp. It's rather gentle for modeling. Now, each of these clamps has also a very useful feature. This one holds a five millimeter LED very nicely. So when I want to wire the LEDs, I generally use magnet wire. And that stuff can be a pain in the neck to line up to make the joint. Let me zoom this in a bit so you can see a little better what I'm doing. And I've got to adjust the light again, so you'll have to be patient for a second while I get this light up. There we go. So I've got the LED in place, and it's fairly, fairly well tight. Let's get it back in there more so it's tighter. Good. She's stable. On the other side, I put another clothespin. I have the magnet wire. The ends have been prepared. I've got another video that will come up on that. Uh, it may be up already by the time you watch this. But I go ahead and put that magnet wire in the clothespin. Now, that is solid. What I want to do, when I want to solder, all I have to do is come over there. I generally, now it's not difficult on video, but generally I'll hold it with my finger and hold it in place. It's a matter of putting that soldering iron right there, and I can make a very close solder joint, very fine solder joint. Very th simple thing. This, so this is for the 5 millimeter. When I want to do 3 millimeter, this close spin reversed, 3 millimeter fits in there very nicely. Now sometimes I want to use a little metal clamp. I grab these clamps off identification bags, badges from shows I, to which I go. Clip that in there. Again, very easy to use. A flat bite on it. You can, you can use all sorts of clamps. Sometimes I've been even taken, uh, when I'm working with paper sometimes, use a paper clamp. 
put that in there and work that third hand. So these are a couple things you can do with a third hand to make it easier to use. Above all, I recommend clothespins. Uh, they're the best, best things. Hope this helps. Do please uh, go ahead and uh, give this a like. It really helps me. I have this also uh, video in my Pinterest account in the soldering section. Go to the soldering section. There's all sorts of tutorials. Mine and other people I gather a lot on soldering. You find good information in there. Have a good day. Have a good life.